Hi guys, welcome back. iPhone 11 and iPhone 10R are the more colorful phones from Apple and you get to choose from a variety of color options. But like majority of the phones, they also have glass back and it's always better to have a case installed. I did check their silicon case as well as a transparent case from Spygen, but since these phones have bright color choices, Apple has their own clear case. iPhone 10R had the same case option and the 11 Pro series also has it. This case comes in this typical Apple packaging with the iPhone 11 clear case branding on the front. This is a plastic clear type case but it's selling for a very premium Apple price. After opening the box and taking the case out, the first impression I had is that the case feels smooth and very obviously plasticky. Unlike the Spigen Ultra Hybrid matte black case which has black sides, this case is a full transparent case and it's fully made of plastic. And I think that's a good thing because the case might not be yellowing. This case's design is very similar to Apple's very own silicon case design where the bottom portion is open and the buttons are all covered. But unlike the silicon case, this clear case is a bit hard to install even though we do it the same way we do for the silicon case. And also it's more hard to take it off and I have to try it out of camera. And also since this is a transparent case, it's always best to install it after properly cleaning the back glass of the phone. Now after installing the case, the first thing I notice is that the case has a very snug fit and it doesn't add much bulk to the phone. It's kind of minimal and I'm a big fan of such cases. And like I said before, the buttons are all covered and it's actually a more rubbery material used for the buttons but still, they're not very tactile. It was initially very stiff but after using it for some time, even though still it's not very tactile, it feels slightly better. Then the cutout for the mute slider is adequate and I was able to toggle it on and off. Well, the bottom section as I said before is fully open and therefore it has its pros and cons. The good part is that almost all cables will work and also you won't be facing any dust accumulation issues. But the bad part is that there isn't any protection for this section. Since this case is made of plastic, it's slippery and therefore you need to be a bit careful. The camera portion of the iPhone 11 protrudes out a lot and this case has a slight raise for the camera cutout and therefore after installing the case, the cameras won't be in contact if we place the phone on a table. Well, since this is a clear plastic case, this case is a fingerprint magnet. I'm not a fan of these smudges, but I could easily wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. And also during my time of use, the case did pick up some minor scratches. It isn't something that is visible under normal lighting, but I feel over time, the case might get more scratches. And also if you're wondering whether I rough use my phone, well, I don't, but I don't baby it either. And my usage is typically normal. And it's like when I'm not using my phone, it will be either in my pocket or I'll be laying it on a desk or a table. Then one more thing to let you know about this case is that there isn't any bubble or rainbow effect where the case sticks to the phone's back and that's good but these smudges as I said before is not very good. The case as of now isn't showing any yellowing and I think it might hold on like that but I'm a bit concerned about the buttons because it's more of a rubbery material and over time it might yellow. And also there is a small race on the front and therefore you can lay the phone screen down. Overall this case is suited for people who likes minimal case and also wants to showcase the phone's color and also enjoy the design of the phone to an extent. There are sure drawbacks like the case is slippery, then it's a fingerprint magnet and it's also very expensive. But still the question is, should you buy it? Well the answer for that is, if you're not particular about first party clear case, then I would suggest to skip this one because for the price it's selling, it's surely not worth it. And if you want to get an official case for your iPhone, you can still get the silicon case which has the same price tag and they are more justifiable than this. That's all for this video guys. Hope you liked it. If so, please do hit the like button and also please do subscribe. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.